Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to Little's Law YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to see about how to develop or how to create or how to enter code using the Python language. And I'm having or I'm using the Visual Studio Code ID, which is the integrated development environment. And I have I'm integrating my code with the git repository so any changes which I make here you can find it in my github repository and if you want to check or if you want to refer any of my scripts you can check in my repository I will paste the repository location in the comment section or in the description section please do check and use it so first let's see what is or how to enter or how to print a statement in Python using Python so for printing a statement or printing a line in Python, we will have to use print and then we'll have to use a double quote and littles law. And this is how we can print any statement and it has to come inside a bracket. So we are typing, we have typed print and then a double quotes and then a, a bracket and inside the bracket we enter double quotes and then we enter a little sla and this is how we can print a statement in python and let me run the script for you and i'll show you how it works and here is the play button so i'm just running so the compilation will happen and here you can see little sla in the print statement and let's I print one more statement which is welcome to Little's Law YouTube channel and then let me run it again and here you can see it's the first statement the Little's Law and the second statement which is welcome to Little's Law YouTube channel and this is how we can print any statement using the print statement So let's now see what happens when we do not print a statement without a bracket. So I'm just giving the quotation and I'm entering welcome to little sla. And when I run this, we can see here that there is a syntax error which is it's missing the parenthesis which we call as open bracket and close bracket. So did you mean this print? So it, uh, it actually tells you what we exactly miss so this tells us that we miss the bracket so let me close the brackets and here we can see it this is working and in case if we are entering anything inside the bracket for example again like I am entering inside the brackets and let's see what happens so when I'm running this or when I'm compiling this and here we can see that we are entering inside the bracket but we miss the double quotes so what if we enter just a single quote and let's see what happens so if we enter a single quotes and when we enter it it works so we have to either give the statement inside a double quote or inside a single quote and that's how python prints the statements for us and the next thing with python is the indentation so indentation refers to these spaces at the beginning of a code line so in other programming languages the indentation in code is only for readability but in python the indentation is very important The indentation is very important and this is the comment that we can use so we will see how the indentation works for that we will try with the if statement so what I'm trying to do in this example is I'm trying to check whether one is less than two and I'm adding a colon at the end of the statement and when I click enter it comes to the the first spare the first column 
and when I try to enter print as true that is if one is less than two then I will print true and when we run when we try to run it here we can see that there is a syntax error the invalid syntax and let's see what happened so as I mentioned already so the indentation part plays an important role so what we'll do is let me move it to a tab here sorry so this has to be a colon and let's go back again and here you can see that the error has come here and here we can see that in the message that we expect an intended block after an if statement so this id tells us clearly or even any python instruction would tell us clearly what is the error and let us give an indentation and after moving it to an indentation here you can see the error underline has gone and when we run this you can see clearly that we have got the print statement and this is how the indentation works so let's do another example with the same indentation part which is we have the first statement and then we'll have a second statement that if one is greater than two we are moving it still further which is away from the actual location because since you see here we could we have the print in the indentation here and in this statement we have moved it a little away from the actual location and let's run the statement and see and here we can see that the first one it worked fine that is one is less than two and it showed us true and here it is one is greater than two and the print is false so the condition has been proved false so automatically did not throw any errors at the same time it did not print the value so let us run it again by moving it back so even we can see here so even if we move it to a far away location it will work but still the point is we have to make sure that it is not very close to the first line so this is how the indentation works in python so let's try one more example with the indentation so in this example what we'll do is if one is less than two we will print that one is less than two and again the next statement so we will just add one more indentation and i'm adding that two is greater than one and let me and when i'm trying to run so already you can see here there is an indentation error in here so which means that for every statement we can move the print but we have to make sure that the indentation for all the lines stays in the same place say for example if you are moving it to the next place make sure that the next statement follows that moves here so it is always best to have a proper indentation with the python language because most of the times we might get error because of this indentation part so it's very very important to know that we have to set the proper indentation here and then let's see the variables part so in python we will like the variables are created when we assign a value to it so let's see the variables part which i would say the python variables let's see real quick so i'm giving a value as a is equal to 5 and b is equal to little sla so this is how we declare or we declare a value so we don't use any int or character or like whatever we use in other languages so this is very simple just declare a value in it and we declare the value for just declare a 
give a variable name and then a value to it just a variable name and a value to it so this is how it works in python so even we can print the values for example like print in the bracket make sure it's under the bracket and then we print a and then we print b when we run it we can see clearly so that we are able to see the values in here the five and little star and this is how the variables work so so far in this video we saw about how to print a statement that it has to be within the brackets and within double quotes and then the indentation is quite important since it's a very important one so we have discussed it here and then how do we declare our variables in python so i believe this video would have been very useful to you we will meet with the another video on python in our next session until then it's bye bye from ascension program and little slaw